I'm on thousands and thousands. My being law that is the most beautiful. I'm on thousands and thousands. My be law that is the most beautiful. Among thousands and thousands, my be law that is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands as you come in please touch the like button as you come in please give the video a thumbs up share the live broadcast hallelujah yeshua uh, are gone the extra lights are gone ah, call his name Yeshua ah, ah, my beloved that is the beautiful among thousands and thousands my be that is the most beautiful among thousands hallelujah and thousands my be that is the most powerful among thousands and thousands my be that is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands call his name Yeshua ah, ah, call his name Yeshua God is just giving me a beautiful message. La kaba shanti di 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 wo siya da 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 wa shaya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you because you first loved us. We love you because there is no one that can do the things that you can do for us. We love you because your mercy towards us are renewed every morning. We love you because it doesn't matter how far we go away from you, your hands are always wide open, ready to receive us again. We love you because you are so beautiful beyond description. We love you because you are the lover of our soul. We love you because nobody can bear the name that you bear 
Nobody can enter the place that you enter for my sake. Nobody can do the things that you can do for us. Father, we give you all the praise. We thank you because you are a God that hears. You are a God that hears and answers. We thank you, O oh Lord, because you have honored your, prayer, your name in this place. We thank you because we know that as we begin to call upon your name, you shall come and you shall answer. We thank you for your anointing that is readily available in this life session to mend the broken heart, to heal the sick, to set the captives free, to deliver the oppressed. We thank you, Father, for what you are about to be doing. We know that, God, this is the, a, a, a life session that will open up the life of someone. I thank you, O oh Lord, because you are a God who is intentional and because you have in impress this word in our spirit it is about to manifest in the life of someone we thank you for what you are about to do we give you all the glory oh god i make a demand upon your grace upon the life of everyone that is coming here today that may they make contact with an anointing that will make their lives easier in the name of jesus i make a demand upon your anointing for everyone that comes to this life session that will, they will make contact with an anointing that will make their lives easier in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your powerful and your mighty works. We thank you for what you are about to do here today. Yes, Lord, we know that you'll be doing wonders in our midst. Yes, Lord, we know that you will answer your name and that nobody will go the same way they came. We thank you for what you are about to do. We say, please, Lord, come and have your way come and take total preeminence Marakoshaya, i am only a vessel in your hands oh god use me and that at the end of the day all glory will be returned to you in the name of jesus fill my mouth let your anointing begin to flow in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus labakata lebrahando shadai reketele bebebo santa Labaha, Rakada Baba 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 Bashaya, Reka Baba Babo Shaya, Elana Masia de Rabahai, Reka da Baba Baba Suntaya, Mande de Debo Shaya, Reka da Baba Basuntale, Iana Nun Saya, Rana Makaida, Reka Shante, Mendele Consiadai, Reka Tala Baba Bosai, Rama Mama Mama Shaya, Leke de 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 Debo Sanai, Reka Baba Basia de Rabaha. Mande de 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 boshaya, reka mama mama sotaya, rama mama mashaya, ela kosa naida baha. In the mighty name of Jesus, Hallelujah, glory to God. Oh, thank you, Elohim. Thank you, Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Your name is to be hallowed, Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Adonai, 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 hallelujah, glory to God. Good morning, family. Good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Depending on where you are joining from, you are all welcome to this live session in the name of Jesus. God bless everyone that is joining. God bless you as you come in, touch the like button, share the live broadcast, be the reason why someone gets to join us today. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Someone under the sound of my voice, when it feels like you have met a dead end, when it feels like all hope is gone, when you find yourself in that place where you do not know what else to do, when you find yourself in that place where you feel frustrated and there is no one you can even talk to that will understand you, God says he will show up for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God says he is showing up for you in the name of Jesus. Elohim is showing up for you in the name of Jesus. Adonai will show up for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for someone you are in that place right now. As we speak, you are in a place where you do not know what to do. You do not know who to talk to. You do not know who can give you good counsel. You do not know what way to, what way to use. You do not know how to get out of the jam you have found yourself in. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May Elohim show up for you. May Elohim show up for you. May Yeshua HaMashiach show up for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let God send his angels to appear and guide you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mama Sutaya, Leko Dodobo Shaya, Ramane Koshaya, Leka Lababo Shaya, Erono no Monshaya, Reka da Baba Shante de Bohaya. For our live session today, the Lord led me to the book of Genesis chapter 21 and verse 19. Genesis chapter 21 and verse 19. It says that. Then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the empty skin with water and gave the boy a drink. If you're a Bible scholar and you know about the story of um, 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 Rebecca, Haggai, Ishmael and Abraham, you know, after Um, Sarah and Sarah got impatient or she doubted the, 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 the promise of God that God was going to give her a child. And so she, 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 she told her husband to take her maid as, as wife or to take her maid and have a child with her. And when Ishmael was born, one thing led to another. It became a, 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 a point of rivalry between Haggai, who was a mate to Sarah, and Sarah, her boss. And it got to a point, Haggai told Abraham, you've got to send this child away. Send the mother and the child away. And God appeared to Abraham and said, please do, do as your wife has said. Do as your wife has said. And and Abraham sent them away. And while he was sending them away, he gave them bread and water. He gave them bread and water. That was his last act of love. He gave them bread and water. And the Bible says that, and, and, and Haggai wandered aimlessly into the wilderness. She lost her way. She was trying to get away from, from Abraham and she lost her way. She found herself in a wilderness. And while in the wilderness, she ran out of water. And I mean, the situation was so bad. Maybe her child was already dehydrating. The Bible says she kept the child under a tree and went a, a little further away and she wept bitterly. She said, I don't want to watch my son die, please. Even I know right now he's going to die because there is no water to keep him alive and I can't stand to watch this happen. And so she shifted away and said, please, even if she's, he's dying, I don't want to see it. She cried. And the Bible says, an angel of the Lord God heard what, as a matter of fact, this is, this is a, 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 a talk or topic of another day. Haggai cried and yet God heard the voice of Ishmael. Haggai cried and God heard the voice of Ishmael and an angel of the Lord spoke to, to Haggai and said, don't worry. The child is not going to die. 
I'm going to make of him a great nation. And the angel of the Lord opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. She saw a well of water. Then she, she could carry from the well of water and gave her child to drink. And her child lived and they both lived in the wilderness. The, uh, Ishmael grew up. God blessed him and established him as a man on, of his own. Now, when I read this, when the Lord led me to this, I began to ask the Lord, what is it exactly that you have for your children? What do you want to tell us? God said, there is someone that is in a desperate situation. You found yourself in a kind of situation and in an attempt to remedy in an attempt to remedy the situation you got into, I mean, it became worse. In your attempt to remedy the situation, it became worse. And right now, you are so depressed. Right now, you know, what is a wilderness situation? A wilderness situation is a place where there is no direction. You lost your way. Somehow, in the course of your life, something happened and you lost your way. Something happened and you lost your way. You got into a place right now where there is no direction. You do not know what to do. Just hang in there, we are going to pray. Hang in there, we are going to pray. You have lost your way. You are in a wilderness situation. You do not know what to do. And right now, you, you are so desperate. You are desperate. You, you, you don't even know how to get out of it. You don't know how to get out of it. You have run out of ideas. You have run out of, as a matter of fact, you have gone to people and nobody has been able to tell you how to come out of this jam. You have run out of, you have tried by your own means to survive in this place where you find yourself. But it keeps getting darker and darker. It keeps getting darker and darker. You try to run away from a relationship just to enter into another abusive one. And right now you feel lost. Please come on family, touch the like button. Our likes are so down. Give the video a thumbs up. Touch the like button as you come in. You know, you have run out of ideas to get your life better. You are in this dark place and you feel like this is the end. You don't even know how you're going to come out of where you are. You don't know how you're going to come out of where you are. But God says that he's about to show up miraculously. He's about to show up miraculously. He's about to show up miraculously. Her guy had already given up. She, she ran away because she did not want to watch and see her son die. Oh, Balana Mashataya. You are watching me and your relationship is dying in your hands. You do not know what to do to, to make that relationship live. You are watching me and your career is dying in your hands. You do not know what to do to save it. You are watching me and your children are going astray. You do not know what to do to get them to align back to where God wants them to be. You are watching me right now. There is something God entrusted in your hand and it is about to die right before you and you do not know what to do. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May God intervene miraculously in the mighty name of Jesus. May God intervene miraculously. God is saying that he's about to bring relief to someone. He will intervene and bring you relief. Relief and sustenance. God says he's about to intervene in the life of someone and he will bring you relief and sustenance in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is intervening miraculously and he is bringing you relief and sustenance. Do you know what is a relief? Relief is when something happens to you and all of a sudden you can breathe. I don't know if you've ever been under pressure. 
I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you are pressurized. You do not know how to get out of where you are. And all of a sudden, help, help comes for you. All of a sudden, help comes. It is a sigh of relief. You can now breathe. God says he is bringing relief to someone today. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is bringing relief in the mighty name of Jesus. God is bringing relief in the mighty name of Jesus. Her guy found herself in a, in a circumstance where she was, she was in dying need of help. She had lost hope. She was feeling lost and she had lost hope already. She had lost hope already. I don't know who is watching me right now. You are in, in that kind of position. You have lost hope. All hope has been exhausted. But God intervened supernaturally. There was a supernatural provision of a well. I pray for everyone that is watching me right now. You have lost hope. I pray let there be a supernatural provision in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural provision in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural provision. Everyone that is watching me right now, you have lost hope. You are feeling lost in that place. You are feeling lost in that place of work. You are feeling lost in that relationship. You are feeling lost as far as your career is concerned i pray may god intervene supernaturally in the mighty name of jesus may the lord intervene for you supernaturally i pray for you in the name of jesus and by the blood of jesus may god intervene supernaturally the same way he intervened for Haggai and showed her a well of water i pray may god intervene supernaturally in in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Rakabashaya, I pray for supernatural intervention. I pray for supernatural intervention. I pray for supernatural intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 17, Labakataya, Philippians 4, 19. Lema Makataya. He says, and my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. And my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. I pray for someone who is feeling lost right now. All hope is gone. You do not know the next step to take. You do not know what to do. I pray may my God supply all your need according to his riches in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, may my God supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. May my God supply all all your need according to his riches in glory in the mighty name of Jesus raka baba baba sada da ba hai le kana na na ma so pahande reka da 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 ba shata ya reka yes 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 abala ko shata ya the same way the raven god used the raven to intervene in the life of elijah i pray that god will use something just to intervene there's going to be a supernatural intervention. I don't know how he will do it, but I know that he will do it for you. In the mighty name, is there anything too hard for this God to do? Is there anything too hard for this God to do? The raven is known as the most selfish bird ever. The raven is known as the most selfish bird ever, but God used a, a raven to intervene when Elijah was about dying of hunger. Makalatai, elamakesha, zekenememe. I pray whatever situation you find yourself in right now that you are feeling lo lost and hopeless. Let there be supernatural intervention in the name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural intervention in the name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rakaba Babashaya, Reke de 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 
boshaya mande de 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 boshai re kala baba boshaya re na 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 masataya in Jesus mighty name you know the Bible says that an angel of the Lord opened Hagar's eye and she was able to see a well it means there was a well in that place where she was and yet she was not able to see she was blinded to the solution of her life. Lega Baba Shaya. Her guy was blinded to, uh, to the solution of her life. The solution was right where she was, but she could not see it. It took an angel to open her eyes for her to be able to see the world that has always been there. Oh, Kanama Shaya. Some of you, you are suffering. You are really suffering. But the solution to your problem is just around you. But your eyes have not been opened to it. You are depressed on a daily basis because you are not able to come out of that hopeless situation. And yet there's, the solution is just around you. But you cannot see. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May God open your eyes and show you the solution to your problem. May the Lord open your eyes so you can see the solution to that problem you are going through in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. May you receive divine revelation. May you receive divine revelation. May you receive divine revelation. May God open your eyes for you to see the solution of the problem in the name of Jesus. I pray some of you, as you go to bed, God is going to reveal it to you in a dream. I pray may you receive divine revelation in the name of Jesus. Even in a wilderness, your solution is there. Even right in that hopeless situation you find yourself, your solution is around. Even in that hopeless situation you find yourself, your solution is around. I pray for you in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, let there be divine revelation. Let there be divine revelation. Let there be divine revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 9 or so, it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I pray for you that as you trust in the Lord, he's about to give you divine, revel divine revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Divine revelation that will direct your path out of that wilderness in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Raka Baba Shaya Rema Makaida Rama Makosha Leka Baba Shai Rama Nakosai Reka da Baba Bosha Raka da 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 Basia da Bahai Leka Nenene Mosha Dai Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 rather Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Leka baba bashaya. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I pray that God is going to give you a divine revelation that will direct you out of this storm in the name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. May God give you a divine revelation that will take you out of this wilderness. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for for divine revelation in the name of Jesus. I pray for re divine revelation in the name of Jesus. I pray for divine revelation. I pray for you. Let there be divine revelation. Let there be divine revelation. May God open your eyes to what you have to do. 
do next. May God open your eyes to what you have to do that will take you out of that place. In the name of Jesus, may God open your eyes on what to do. I pray for you for divine revelation. I pray for you for divine revelation. I pray for you for divine revelation. In the name of Jesus, you know, when God spoke to Haggai and God opened her eyes to see the water, not only did the water serve as refreshment to her and her child, but it gave her hope that God sees her. Some of you, what you need in this season is an assurance that God is with you. What you need in this season is an assurance that God just has to tell you that he is still a provider. You just need to know, you, you just need that, you need for God to do something in your life that will make you to know he is still in charge, he is still in control. Is that right? You need something that will encourage you that God is with you. Some of you, that is what you need now. You need something that will encourage you that God is with you. Oh, Jesus. There is a scripture in the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 20, 25. Jeremiah 31, let's get, let's, let's see that scripture. Jeremiah 31, 25. It's talking about God satisfying the weary. It talks about God satisfying the weary. Mareko shantala baba baba ya. Reka tala baba. Jeremiah 31, 25. Lama ko shanti di 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 busha. Jeremiah 31, 25. Mm, yes, this is it. It says, For I fully satisfy the weary soul, and I replenish every languishing and sorrowful person. I'll take it again. For I fully satisfy the weary soul, and I replenish every languishing and sorrowful person. Let me get another Bible translation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is about to show someone that he is still God and he is still in control. God is about to do something that will, that will confirm to you that he is still God and he is still in control. Laba Shantali Bahaya. It says, I refresh tired bodies and I restore tired souls. It gets to a point when even your soul is tired, you are tired of fighting. It gets to a point where you are tired of fighting. You are tired. God says he's going to replenish. He's going to give you a reason to trust again. He's going to give you a reason to trust again. Mark, I pray for someone that is watching me right now. May God do a miracle in your life. Let there be a supernatural visitation. Let there be a supernatural provision that will confirm to you that God is still alive in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray. For someone that is watching me right now, you are in a wilderness situation. You are in a place where you have lost hope. I pray that God will intervene supernaturally and that there will be a provision that will establish the sovereignty of God over your life.
in the mighty name of Jesus. There are certain things God do for you and it is just an assurance. It comes to give you a guarantee that God, let there be supernatural intervention. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be supernatural intervention. Mark, I, I pray for 21 people under the sound of my voice. Let there be supernatural intervention. Let there be a supernatural occurrence in your life that will make you to know that God is. God is, God is in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God do something in your life that will renew your hope. That will renew your hope. It will renew your trust in God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ziga ba 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 shante de 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 boha reka ba 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 shaya mande de 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 bo siere da bahai reka tala ba 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 sha let there be a supernatural intervention let there be a supernatural intervention that will restore your hope for all those that have already already been losing hope let there be a supernatural occurrence and intervention that will restore your hope in the in God in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, supernatural intervention, supernatural intervention. I pray, let there be a supernatural intervention in your life, in Jesus' mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, somebody. Say, Lord, I thank you for supernatural intervention. I thank you for showing up in my wilderness. Excuse me. I thank you, oh God, for showing up in my wilderness. I thank you for supernatural intervention. Come on, child of God, go ahead and begin to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you for showing up in my wilderness. I thank you for supernatural intervention. I thank you, oh Lord, for showing up in my wilderness. I thank you for supernatural intervention. I thank you for showing up in my wilderness. I thank you, O oh Lord, for supernatural intervention. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. We thank you for everyone that has given an offering on PayPal, on Cash App, on mobile money. I pray that you bless their giving in the name of Jesus. I pray that you, their bands will never run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who are giving donations, Lord, I pray that you will multiply their increase. In the name of Jesus, and those who are planting seeds, connecting to the prophetic prayer, I connect you to your seed. May the Lord answer you speedily in Jesus' name. Those who are connecting to supernatural intervention, intervention I connect you to your seed. Let there be supernatural intervention in the name of Jesus. Those who are connecting into God, showing up in your wilderness, I connect you to your seed. May the Lord show up in your wilderness. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's take our daily declarations together. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. This is our daily declaration. God says as often as we make these declarations, it's going to happen to us. Hallelujah. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. 
the favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploit. I bless your thanksgiving offering. Those who are planted in thanksgiving offering, your thanksgiving seeds are blessed in the name of Jesus. And for those who have paid their tithes, your tithes are blessed. I pray that God will rebuild your devourer over your income and that he will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that your band will not be able to contain. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, family. I love you so much. You are always in my thoughts. You are always in my prayers. Please, um, if this is the first time you are joining our live session, a special welcome to you. Thank you for joining. Please check to see if you're already subscribed to this channel. If you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and touch that subscribe button. Do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live, you're going to receive notification. And if you've not given the video a thumbs up already, please do touch on that like button. God bless you as you do that. If you were blessed by this live session, let it be a blessing to someone else. How do you do that? By sharing. Touch that share button. Share on your timeline. Share on your Facebook. Share wherever you can. Let someone come pray along and get blessed. And God will bless you too for reaching out in the mighty name of Jesus. Now may the Lord bless you, keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of jesus amen i love you all family i love you i will see you in our next live session as god gives me grace until then have an amazing day those who are starting their day your day is blessed in the name of jesus those who are going to sleep i pray that you will have divine revelation of what god wants you to do in this season in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.